as more and more mobile stroke units make it out there around the country and around the world, it's an unfortunate reality that, that one of them may be involved in an accident at some point. Do we want that to happen? No. But we're trying to prepare for the, you know, for the worst case scenario by keeping the safety of everybody in mind. This is new frontier for everybody. Putting a neurologic CT scanner is meant for a hospital in the back of a unit. So when we first started the process of figuring out how the heck do we restrain this nearly 1,000 pound scanner in place when it gets in an accident, um, you know, looking at the standard, uh, what we're supposed to require that it holds up to is a equivalent of a 22 and a half g-force in the front to back or longitudinal direction. Um, the equivalent of a 26 g-force in the side to side or lateral direction. So looking at those, we realized what a big force that is for an almost thousand pound piece of equipment. If the mobile stroke unit is in an accident with forces that high, the scanner, which is designed for hospital use, may not stand up to the forces that are being exerted on it. So we didn't only want to restrain the scanner, have our mount strong enough, and then ignore it if the scanner came apart. We also wanted to contain the scanner if that scanner were to come into pieces. On the current uh, retention system that we have today, which resembles a roll cage uh, that you'd find in a race car, uh, but it's obviously much more substantial and it's much bigger, we believe this retention system should help hold the scanner in place if it were to be in an accident. It itself is tied down to the chassis frame rails, and with the use of the cargo netting that we have on the opening of this, of the retention system, if the scanner were to break into pieces, the netting may help prevent those pieces from becoming projectiles in the back of the module. When it came time to doing the actual testing of this unit, there was a standard uh, put out by SAE, or the Society of Automotive Engineers, called J3043, and that describes uh, equipment mounting and what the mount for the CT scanner needs to be able to survive in the case of an accident. Uh, so we came up with uh, you know, an approximation of the size, weight, and center of gravity of the CT scanner and used that in our testing. Our design has been tested to withstand a pretty substantial G-force uh, compared to what the SAE specification requires that we hold up to. You know, coming from personal experience as a uh, firefighter and EMT myself uh, here in the Houston area uh, for the past seven years, uh, I, I have a little bit of a different experience than, uh, than a lot of other people when it comes to how the operations work in the back of a unit. Uh, safety is, is paramount for those of us who are responding in the back, uh, and therefore it's paramount for Fraser. If we don't have uh, the trust of our customers that we're going to keep them safe, then we don't even have a business. One of the most important things is trying to keep the medics in the back safe, and that comes from a lot of design aspects. Uh, Fraser has a long history of building very safe units, so safety is, is obviously paramount. And whether or not there are standards that say that we have to contain the CT scanner in place, this is something that we absolutely want to be doing. 